If your doctor has you taking calcium and vitamin D to help with menopause, osteoporosis, it's not enough. Calcium and vitamin D are a part of maintaining healthy bones, but if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, they're just not gonna cut it. On their own, calcium and vitamin D don't significantly reduce the risk for fractures. That's the key factor when you're facing menopause osteoporosis. You don't wanna break any bones. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what the research says about diet, lifestyle, and especially supplements for your bones. Stick with me to the end and I'll explain a key supplement that turbocharges the impact of calcium and vitamin D on menopause osteoporosis as well as the risk for broken bones. Do a Google search for osteoporosis and you'll immediately see take calcium and vitamin D. It's the same old tired advice for preventing and treating osteoporosis. But what does the research actually say? The Women's Health Initiative is one of the largest studies that looks specifically at calcium and vitamin D. And they found that calcium and vitamin D supplementation alone had a minimal impact on fracture risk. Over seven years, patients who took calcium and vitamin D didn't really see a significant reduction in hip fractures compared to patients who didn't take those supplements. Even women who took them religiously had only a modest reduction in fracture risk. A meta-analysis combination of multiple studies also confirmed those findings. It showed that calcium and vitamin D, whether it was taken uh, separately or together, failed to consistently reduce fracture risk in older adults. While these nutrients play a role in maintaining healthy bones, the data just doesn't support the idea that they can reverse or prevent osteoporosis on their own. Some studies suggest that calcium and vitamin D might increase fracture risk in women under 60. Relying on those alone isn't gonna cut it if you're looking to reduce fracture risk or improve your bone density, especially if you've already been diagnosed with menopause osteoporosis. While supplements can play an important role in bone health, they're not the whole story. To truly protect your bones and reduce the risk of fractures, you've got to take a holistic approach. Walking, lifting weights, dumbbells, kettlebells, yoga, even dancing. Adequate amounts of high quality protein are essential for building bone. Boost your protein intake with chicken, turkey, fish, Protein powders like whey protein can help you meet your daily protein goals. Plant-based proteins like beans and lentils and tofu might also help. Dairy products like yogurt and cheese. High protein snacks like nuts and seeds. If you smoke, quit. Smoking accelerates bone loss by interfering with calcium absorption and reducing blood flow to your bones. You should limit alcohol. Excessive alcohol consumption weakens your bones over time, increasing the risk of falls. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep every night. That's when your body repairs and rebuilds your bones. Prevent falls with exercise that improve balance and strength, yoga, tai chi. In this video, I've been talking about studies, what the research actually says about osteoporosis. I've also mentioned searches, the things people ask Google most commonly about menopause osteoporosis. In my last video, I shared some stories of real women and their struggles with osteoporosis. Searches, stories, and studies are the foundational pillars of my digital course. It's called the Menopause Solution. That course walks you through, step by step, everything you need to know about hormone replacement therapy for menopause. I explain the studies in plain English, answer the search questions, and share the stories of real women to help you see that you're not alone. Hormones definitely play a role in menopause osteoporosis, and I'm gonna explain that in a later video. But for now, let's continue looking at other strategies for managing osteoporosis. Ever heard of vitamin K2? It's not nearly as well known as calcium and vitamin D, but it has a much more dramatic impact on bone health. Here's why vitamin K2 is so important. It works as a traffic cop for calcium. It helps to make sure calcium is sent to your bones where it belongs, and it also reduces the chances of calcium being deposited in your arteries, forming calcified plaques. That's crucial for improving your bone strength, but also supporting your heart health. Vitamin K2 comes in two different forms that are important for bone health. It's called MK4 and MK7. They both help your body use calcium more effectively and keep it out of the places where it doesn't belong, like your arteries. 
Both of those forms play a role in keeping your bones strong and healthy. You can actually buy a combination that has both. A systematic review and meta-analysis found that vitamin K2, especially the MK4 form, significantly reduced fracture risk. Vertebral fractures in the vertebrae were reduced by 60%. Hip fractures, which are a huge problem, as I mentioned in my last video, saw a 77% reduction. Non-vertebral fractures dropped by 81%. Calcium and vitamin D show much more modest results. There are studies that show that calcium and vitamin D supplementation together might reduce fracture risk by 15%. A quick warning, if you're taking blood thinning medications like warfarin, it's important to talk to your doctor before you take vitamin K2 supplements. Vitamin K2 can theoretically interfere with those medications, so it's crucial to make sure you manage this with your healthcare provider. My next video takes a closer look at the most commonly prescribed medications for osteoporosis. These drugs can improve bone mineral density much more than calcium, vitamin D, or even vitamin K2, but they also come with some serious long-term risks that could be deal breakers. Click here to watch that video and learn what those risks are and whether osteoporosis drugs might be the right option for you.